Hello, what's up, welcome back to Memento Mori, which, as some of you may know, is a map pack for Doom 2. I'm gonna have to solve this like a man, which means in one shot. I think you can go down there and, and just sort of snipe him, which is what I used to do, because you'll be surprised how effective a mancubus can be when you are literally rubbing your teeth against his fatness. I heard you. I know where you came from, kid. I don't know who your family is. I don't know. I'm not gonna let you live. Huh. I guess I will let you live. Why won't you lie down him? Nope. It's not the time. I need to save that for the final boss. I'm going to go completely bonkers. The thing I like about the Iron Blast is that it shoots so many projectiles that if you shoot it into a hole indiscriminately, generally you'll kill anything that's inside that hole. Yeah, I think it does it randomly. And it's just, I've just gotten lucky sometimes. I don't know what it is. If I have to be honest, I feel this um, is actually slightly weaker than the chain gun. Maybe it's because the chain gun is a lot poppier, and it's like a pop gun, and you're like, oh man, that's actually pretty impressive that it managed to kill anything at all. you into a false sense of security and then betray you. I know, it's just kind of my second nature to betray people randomly. I thought we were best friends. Listen, man, I've got a mustache, a pencil mustache. I've got to betray someone by the end of my life. Why are you our best friend? You could have betrayed your boss or some co-worker you don't even care about. Listen, it's not really betrayal if there's no trust to speak of, right? Like, I've got to make the one betrayal I have to make significant, right? Like, you understand that, man. You're my best friend, you should know that. You just betrayed me just because you think you have to. Listen, I don't think I have to. I know I have to. It is my fate and my destiny. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna touch that thing. You fuck that banana. I ain't touching that banana. I'm gonna touch the banana. Ow! I touched the banana. Damn it. Well, guess I'm gonna have to deal with that little tidbit. This is a nice little tune. Yeah, Mr. Mori's strongest point so far has been the fact that it has consistent good music. Oh, hello. So, I see you're kind of jauntily jaunting around Jaunt Town. I'm gonna have to fix that. And when I say jauntily, I just mean just, just screw. This is good news. That's not good news. That was lucky. Could've gotten hit. Could've gotten really hurt in there. This is the kind of moment you would usually use a plasma gun at, because the plasma gun is so good at stunning things. I finally learned what it's for. It's used for stunning. It's all it does. If you need someone stunned, you just use the plasma gun because it has such a high rate of fire and it's so bloody effective. It gets, as they say, the job done. Are you... 
Are you trying to be an insulting stereotype? Maybe. But what's it to you, Hosa? I don't know. Just saying, man. Just saying you might want to watch it. That's three. Wow. I'm so full on stuff. Look, I don't have double ammo on. I thought I would have to do that or something, but I'm just full on ammo all the time. I think it's the fact that I'm using this a whole bunch, but even then... I seem to have issues running low on it. Because it's just... Maybe the guns, maybe just the DPS is generally higher and you do better. I wonder if the arc in any particular level ever comes into play. So far the arc is kind of like there, but I've never really had to arc it. Like intentionally. You know, like you kind of shoot it with an arc in mind, and you're like, oh man. This dude. I understand you've got a job to do. I do too. But you gotta understand, some people just don't care about you having a job. You took my job, man. I used to be investigative inspector number five. I had that extra role in the bag. You came along and you were like, hey man, I'm an extra man. I do, I do stuff as an extra person. You need someone to, to be a jackass? And was, you were like, yeah, man, sure, why not? Oh, there's some dudes behind me. That explains everything. That explains everything. Those explains why you're dead. It's not a coincidence, is it? I feel fluffy puffy like a duffy. <sighs> I was wondering where the ambush was at. I was moving for five seconds without an enemy on my back, so I figured, what the f what the hell, man? Since when are you not playing by the rules? Then I remembered it was playing by the rules. It just wasn't doing it the way I thought it was. I like, I like things that play with expectations, very liberally. Like, they set up expectations, and then they, they give you a jaw smack, and they're like, ho-ho, ho-hee, ho-ho. I have a bunch of knives. And they're all for you. You know. You know, I've never had a lot of issues with, with demons. Even in regular Doom, they're always... They're always in a situation where, to some extent, you can kind of cheese your way out of things, you know? They're never the first priority on your list, unless they're, like, in the way, and you're left like, Oh, man, I need, to get, I need to get out of the way, dude. I need to hit that guy, but you are in the way. But otherwise, it's really never a moment where I'm like, Yeah, I need... I, I can't... I, you are so... Just how even do I deal with this shit? No. The demons have always kind of been this side nuisance that shows up every once in a while. Like the candles on a cake. You're like, yeah, they're supposed to be there at some point. Or someone's gonna complain. And you're like, oh, I'm a cake. Candles. Oh, I'm candles on my cake. Oh, sorry. Interrupted by dinner. <sighs> Can't help that, can I? <laughs> now I'm gonna be panting a lot. I'm gonna be like. <sighs> I'm gonna be creepy. Anyone here like some creepazoid? <clears throat> I still wish I had the details on. Uh, what, I guess I could just look into the wad. Like I, like I think, I hoped that uh, PK3 is a file that is a extension that is basically just uh, text, but it is not. It is actually a mixture of things, meaning that I cannot directly look at it and see the damage modifications. Because there's one thing I like: it's damage formulas. I know. Just something about formulas that I like. I'm like, oh, look at this. Never forget the power of the magic missile. Especially once you're like a... Okay, so a guy told me that the way that magic missile works in D&D &D is that you get more projectiles and it becomes more powerful as you level up as the wizard, meaning that you get 
so much more power than most melee classes, which to me is like, really? That doesn't sound like anyone thought about that ever. That sounds really dumb. Yay, it's the exit! We lowered it an inch. And we unlock this. Yeah, I like that. Nice troll job. Good job. Whoever did that, I prefer you hold R until you feel the click before we pull that. Oh dear. I'm gonna try another spell. You know? Liven things up a bit. Um, Skullfire is fine, I guess. I always like Skullfire. Nice and simple. Oh wow, I can use this indefinitely. Regenerate too quickly to make a loss. Oh damn. So much blood! Let me drink your blood! I am hemophilic! I need donations, please! Please! Man, you could just ask instead of stealing everyone's blood, man! Yeah, and start a donation drive. Thank you for helping me out, you meddling kids! Now I no longer have to prowl upon the weak to fill my need of blood! No problem, vampire dude! We're just here to help out and be cool. Well, I greatly appreciate the effort. Would you like a blood baked guy? I mean, a blood baked pie? Well, dude, that sounds awesome! Well, just don't spill any on the floor! I just put the carpet in the wash! <laughs> Sorry, vampire humor! It's not very good. It's why vampires are so lonely. Not very good humor. But very good cake. Very good cake. Oh, that was so sneaky. I wonder if that's even possible. I don't know. I'm always... From time to time, I'm like, is this even possible in Vanilla Doom? The answer will amaze you. You won't believe what you can do in Vanilla Doom. Oh, yeah. I can't believe I finally lowered myself to the lowest common denominator. I like this little hole in the floor. It's like... Hello there, buddy. I'm a hole in the floor. The first thing any sane man does with a hole in the floor is dump some dynamite in it. I really like this instrument. I don't know what it is, but something about this instrument I love. To keep things simple, there's a whole bunch of shit in here. And... I think it's, yeah, it should, it probably is a pain elemental. And I don't like pain elementals. You know? Yeah, I think I know figured out how to do this. When you go around cor- No! Bad banana! Bad banana! Put down that banana, you banana! I will never surrender! Never give up! Never stop! Never leave! It's all about the money! It's all about the dum dum dee dee dum dum! Fuck it! I love how it twitches. Sometimes it's like... Tick, 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 tick. So high on steroids! Did he just... Oh, he leaves a much more ragged and glowing... S oh, that's so cool. Uh, one thing I like about Skullfire is it leaves behind a Fire Dot JPEG. I love Fire Dot JPEG. It's my favorite Dot JPEG. Yep. 
If I had to pick a dot JPEG, I'd pick Fire dot JPEG. It's a great fire and a great dot JPEG. Aw, oh, the effect is worn out. Now I have to deal with you fuckers the usual way. I thought I did a pretty good job. That's a nice secret, because it's... One thing I really like is a secret where you walk into and door, the thing goes down. It's probably my favorite kind, because you see it and you're like, Oh damn, I just walked straight into that one, didn't I? Like this one. Come get you! Come get you! Would you like to come and get some? Man, I don't even know what to do anymore, man. I'm so... I'm so sad. No! No, 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 we're not doing that yet. Oh, damn. Didn't know they would all be up here. Oh, damn! No! We are in deep bananas. We are Defcon banana. I love bananas. Did I ever mention how much I love bananas? Never, because I don't really like bananas. I'm not a bananic. I just farted. That's how awesome that joke was. That is the class action you are used to on this amazing channel. Setting the boundaries for comedy, people. No. For the love of God, don't tell me it's a whole bunch of revenants in a closet. What are you doing in my closet? I keep my skirts there, man! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm officially dead. Luckily, I always have option Epsilon. AKA, blow that shit up, baby. Problem solved. You know, thinking about it, the original BFG is not that powerful as it seems. Sure, it's got a lot of oomph, but the actual explosion is not what does them in. Usually it's the, the, the rays that are cast from the center that really rake up the points. And it's kind of odd when you think about it, because it means the BFG's real power is taking something head-on, which is exactly what you don't want to do, because you're employing the BFG because you're scared as fuck of what you're currently facing. This was numerics, with a man who knows what a number is. Numerics man, numerics man. Numerics man, numerics man. Speed of lightning, roar of thunder. Numerics man. I wonder if Sky Punch affects the the Cyber Demon. That was in the meta. That was a Berserk pack last time I checked, and this stuff hasn't properly collagulated. Anyway. I'm gonna have to nip that in the butt. And if there's one thing I'm good at, it's nipping stuff in the butt. Sir, you have a butt. Let me nip it. Nip, nip. Nibble, nibble. Mmm, it's slightly chewy. Which is another word for delish. Oh, this one's fun. That is a good, you have to shoot this thing to make a work puzzle. Because it's the only thing I can do. See? This is why I love having a nuclear option. This is why I actually prefer having this as my only ult, because it's just like, I'm in shit! Shit solved. That was an art. that was an art file. That was the only proper response to that scenario. You score nuclear! You said nuclear, man, it's nuclear. Nuclear? No, no, man, it's nuclear. No, I don't think we're gonna get out of this. The exit is trapped. Oh, this is pretty cool. This one's also a confusing level. I was playing this when um, someone was talking to me, saying like, "Oh, you're, dis you're you have a disability. That's not gonna be a problem ever, because I don't know what it's like living with your disability." Wink. Like, so, I don't, I don't care who you are, but living with a disability is completely different from understanding it. Like, you can be sympathetic to something, but if you don't have it, you don't have the slightest idea what the complications might be and how much you might, like. You might get past being in a wheelchair, but the fact that people are calling you a wheelchair person and you can't go up the stairs the way they do, that will constantly haunt you. There is a mental aspect to disability that people like to forget because it's the painful part of it. It's not the part that I can't walk up the stairs. I can find a way around that. I'm not in a wheelchair, but I'm just using that as an example. I can eventually learn to get up a, up a staircase even though I'm in a wheelchair. That's fine and dandy. But the fact that everyone keeps rubbing it in and I have to keep taking extra steps to get up that goddamn staircase, 
that's the part that makes a disability painful. The fact that I am different, and that I'm consistently reminded of it. The fact that I'm like, what the fuck are you even talking about, boo boy? And it's like, mm, this is something that most humans do. I'm like, humans, you're talking gibbery joop. You're not human. Be gone, foul demon. That's what it's like if you're not social in the way that most people are. That's the only proper response you have to every situation is, Be gone, demon! Because humans are fucking weird, man. Do you have any idea how long it took me for me to understand the fact that, oh, sometimes you do this and sometimes you do that, and somehow it's also appropriate. It's all gobbledygook. It's all flippity flap. And as they say, if it's flippity flap, you might want to look for an alternative. Yeah, upgraded, it's so much better. It is just so much better upgraded. It's amazing, actually. Because now it's not a nuclear option. Now it's like, oh, great. But it's not good enough. You know, it's like, Arr. you clench your teeth and you look a bit angry and you're like, Arr. why is all this gobbledygook? I hate gobbledygook. Mostly because I don't know what the hell it is. Why are you doing this to me? You're bleeding all over the floorboards! On the plus side, being so completely different from everyone else does give me an insight into situations that most people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, that's the thing, and they're like, oh man, that is the thing. How did I not notice? Is it perhaps because my brain is completely illogical? And I'm like, yes! That is the... That is the problem. I need to go nuclear. 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 There's one man who'll never live. Uh oh! I'm not gonna live. Here's the biggest problem with the the cyber demon is actually running into his projectiles. Because as much as the cyber demon is a big fat opponent. His rockets are slow enough that you can accidentally walk into them after they've passed you, because you have to move around so much, because they're really big projectiles. Analytical propositions with Sapphire Crook at 9am. It's not 9am, it's almost 7. Well, I'll be a gobbledygook. No, you're not. Stop pretending, you big fat schluck. Really? Someone fucked up. Or they did a map change, and they didn't bother to tell the guy. They were like, Oh man, I got the super smart idea for a map alteration. I think everyone should listen to my super smart plan on super smartness. I was like, sure, whatever, man, but go ahead. Go ahead and make gobbledygook happen. And it was like, DEPLOY THE NUCLEAR OPTION! Everyone was kinda like, wait, what? I never said you could blow me up with dynamite. And he's like, yeah, you told me to. You told me last summer. I know what you did last summer. And he's like, man, this lighting effect looks really fucking good. That does look really good. I like that. Probably on a good high up on my list on top things that I like to look at in terms of lighting. I'm a lightophile. I just can't keep it together. I need to deploy this more often. <sighs> I'm sorry if... I'm sorry if the sighing of last episode kind of ruined it. I was having a fun time. I was enjoying myself. I was just sighing a lot because... Damn it! Oh, Iron Blast. Can I kiss you on the cheek and make you my wife? And he's like, no. And I'm like, oh man. Really? Come on, man. I spent more time building this relationship than I've spent doing anything ever. You've got to give me this one thing, man. It's all I'm asking you, man. It's all I'm asking you. Is a little bit of R E S E C T, you know, something something means to me. R E S Q T R B W. I can't spell. It's why I never joined the spelling bee because I was like, it's supposed to be a spelling wasp. Jesus Christ, you people are so fucking stupid. It's a wasp. Why do you keep making the wrong banner? And everyone was like, he's autistic, isn't he? And it's like, mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, we can't have that guy go in. He's gonna ruin everything. Then the parents were like, but he's special. And I'm like, no, dude. My brain works differently in such a way that I will literally ruin it for everyone. And it will not be fun. 
And now I can't spell for shit. Those things are not related. I just thought I'd mention both of them in a fashion that would make you think, hey, those are related. Nope, they're not. I can't spell for shit because I barely write the language that I'm, sp that I'm supposed to be speaking. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because I got on the internet really early and I started writing a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm pretty embarrassed of in terms of writing. And the thing about that stuff is, is that it taught me English so damn good that I can do English better than I can do my own native tongue. Hey, yeah, we're gonna have to solve this with the nuclear option. Now we go in and shoot some stuff. I wouldn't just like to get a rock to the face. I assume it's a pleasant feeling. And then there's nothing, because you're dead, and there's nothing. Maybe you'll go to heaven, and you'll be like, Hey, dude, what the fuck's happening? He's like, I don't know. How am I supposed to describe death? You're the guy that could die. I'm immortal! What the hell do you expect from me? Why are these doors to different colors? It looks pretty cool, but it also looks kind of goofy. It looks like someone didn't do his job properly. He's like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna phone it in. And he went to the phone, and he was like, So, um... I've been sitting here for a while, kind of waiting for this to resolve. Um, I'm gonna call you, uh, and the thing I'm gonna call you with is it's the level. You're, if you put this into the to the to text editor, you'll you'll get the level. And he's like, how the hell did you phone it in? And he was like, I don't fucking know. I just put it in a phone, and a level came out. And the guy on the phone was like, I don't even know either. Like it just happened. Can I say these blood decals are really? Really realistic and and gory for the fact that everything looks kind of silly in a sense. Like it's enough non-realistic characters that you can you can sort of differentiate them in terms of sprite work. It looks really kind of goofy. You know, it looks really kind of it looks off. It looks it, it it doesn't. It feels more extreme than it needs to be. Where do I go? Video games. I'm gonna need your help on this one. I'm in a big fat silo and I'm kind of kind of lost. Oh no! Remember how Duke Nukem stopped you from rubbing your face against the wall and pressing the activate button a bunch? Yeah, I remember that being a feature. Oh, there they are. Sometimes the answer is just around the corner. Sometimes the answer is stop asking questions. I don't know. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! 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 We're gonna have to do this nuclear twice. This is not a situation in which I can make any excuses. All the knives in the world will kill you and your buddy, buddy, buddy. <sighs> Maybe put it like this. That was extreme. That's a door. I don't care. I just don't want to deal with that because that takes a while. Well, we've deployed the nuclear option. I haven't done that in a while, have I? I I've noticed that I haven't, for a very long time, just run into him and go. It's, that's what I'm missing from this. There's never that feeling of awesome. There's just a constant feeling of being adequate, and that doesn't feel nice, especially with a mod that's like, yeah, bitches. I'ma shoot myself in the sky! Like a rocket! Look at that. It's fucking nuts! I don't get that feeling that much. Not as much as you should. Yeah, you can only buy that many. I think.
thought that was the end of the level. Well, I think we all learned the lesson about the meaning of friendship. And the fact that friendship doesn't exist. It's all a metastasis. Well, probably could have had a much extremer time if I hadn't wasted so much time. But hey, who cares? The point is, we all learned our lesson. And I really like this bridge construction. It's actually pretty clever. I don't know how it's made, but it's pretty clever, because it works. Why are there so many of you? There should be less of you. Like, one or two. Yeah. I blew it. Th that's how they say it these days. I blew it. I blew it big time. Could have had an extreme time. Nope. Instead, I wasted a guitar solo. Because I'm stupid. Well, we all learned a lesson. I really like this room. This room's got class, and style, and design, and a pool table. <gasps> I don't play pool, but I can still appreciate a good pool table. What I can't appreciate is this abundance of reverence. Okay, so you also get... Okay. Uh, I don't know if you get refunds for things like f uh, flight upgrades, because upgrades you can also get duplicates of because I'm actually full on those, and apparently you do get refunds for those too. Sweet. The 50% refund function that's uh, normally on spells. Like, you have a spell, you pick it up again, oh, you get 30% back. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm ready to beef up my kill stats, because I think that's the end of the level. Wait, I've never even been here. I also don't have the yellow key to open this door. Damn, I wasted so much time, I just I, all I can do is blush. Let's see how tough you are, boy. Are you in the Under 300 Club? I'm part of the Under 3 Club VIP edition. See? That's what you get for joining the Under 300 Club. You get a big fat shotgun, everyone's like, man, shoot that shotgun. <laughs> Didn't get me a key, though. I get the feeling I missed it. Nope. There's just a key somewhere. And I have to find it by hand. <sighs> Fuck this. Just look at this. It's fucking cock you. I know where the fuck this key is. I'm gonna turn on these cheats. We're gonna figure this out. Maybe it's behind door number one. This is a problem. Any country that makes that weapon their national thing gets bonus points for me. Corpse Blast. Never had never had a lot of fun with Corpse I don't know, I just never been able to use it properly and felt like, eh, that's some good use. May I say that looks pretty damn spiffy? That looks real freaking spiffy. And if it's spiffy, it's spectacular. Oh! Wow, so the moment they do make an open level, it's like, oh, we're going to put everything in it. Like, forego proper enemy plays. We just put enemies in. We have space. It's probably going to be like two cyber demons around the corner. No? Really? Fuck's your problem, man. You put me in a small space with the mastermind and a, and a cyber demon... And now, no. Man, here's the thing I have. Well, I have. You might have noticed that there's a huge contrast between the level designs. That is a problem. You want to make sure your levels are cohesive. This is not cohesive. This is me, quite literally, in a completely disconnected area because you couldn't make levels cohesive. Even Doom fucking 3 did that properly. I don't know what the problem is. What's the problem with just splitting up your levels a bunch of times? Splitting up levels is how you get more levels out of less content, and how you make sure that you don't oversaturate the market. It's how you expand your portfolio. Right, Mr. Archfile? That guy expands his portfolio daily. You know where he is? He's an Archfile. He's making it big. He's the big shot in town. He runs the show. Just because he diversified his portfolio on time and knew how to invest his money. You don't. I'm just saying, you might want to split up your shit every once in a while, you know? Who's in there? I don't know, I'm just lowering to the floor. 
how did I how did I see this coming? Part of me says go extreme sphere and go nuts. Another part says me go nuclear. I'm like, no, I don't want to go nuclear again. I wonder. I forgot which one has the higher pain chance, this guy or the uh, mastermind. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh damn! Didn't know we could turn around corners. At least he pays for two armors. There's the yellow key. Oh, what? What is the problem of the map designer people? Some fucking modesty with your levels, please! Fun fact, Arch Files, together with Revenants, are some of the fastest enemies in the game. Um, th those guys are some of the fastest, by the way. Um, charging uh, Lost Souls are incredibly fast. Not as fast as the player, most of the time, but, you know, it's, it's not a factor. That is a non-issue. No, it is an issue that I have to turn this off. Uh... All this extreme, all this attitude is just getting to me. I can't anymore. I've run out of extreme juice. I had like five bottles worth and I ran out and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, this level is really weird. A bunch of closed corridors, and then very strangely mixed together with open areas that had really strange enemy combinations. I get the thing this map maker, <clears throat> while he can design a nice map that looks pretty snazzy, has severe issues putting together a map that feels cohesive and interesting. Why is this in an open area that's filled with death? I don't know. You tell me. It's confusing. It's weird. It's gobbledygook. That's what it is. To imagine that I probably would have lost all that progress. <laughs> of course you're here. I had you on the RSVP list, you fuck. Is that really X? Because I remember that... For some reason, enter activates my potions, which is stupid. I'm going to have to remove that feature. Why would you want to enter? That's a really obtuse button. I guess obtuse buttons means that you're less likely to press them by accident, but I remember there's a secret exit somewhere around here. It's like up here. I know how to activate it, but it's behind here somewhere. See, it's a little red thing. See, so this is an exit. I know how to access it. Because I don't know a lot. I like how gliding doesn't require to hold the spa button. It just lets you go. Ugh. <sighs> I never beat this level legit. Um, this level is mysterious in that it mystifies me, and there's a part where I'm going to be like, and just give up. We'll see if I can get there. Yeah, oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, let me, let me see this. Yeah. Oh no, 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 wait. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. The dragon eyes glow depending on the powers you have. I wonder if invulnerability has its own color, but that's pretty cool. So yeah, I don't like this level at all. There's a fucking archfile up here? Really? You do know archfiles have infinite range on their little shit move, right? Oh no, they don't. I thought they had infinite range, but they don't. They apparently have a maximum range. They're still shit faces, and they're super annoying. And you shouldn't put them in your level unless you absolutely have to. Oh no, they do have infinite range. Oh, Jesus Christ. This level's not gonna be fun, is it? It's already not very fun on easy mode, so... I'm gonna have to go nuclear a bunch of times. 
Because it just solves all my problems, man.